Well, let me just say, there are a lot of people who have reacted to this and said, well, we got to get on the phone with CNN. We got to get on the phone with NBC and ABC and all the, all the, the mainstream networks. And uh, we got to beg them to, to cover our event. We have to beg them to connect with their audience, you know, and, and I, I think when, when things like this happen and the mainstream media doesn't cover them, a lot of people are inclined to ask why and say, well, well where, where did I hear about this? And, oh, I heard about it through YouTube. I heard about it from the Adam versus the Man YouTube channel. We got a video up there right now with uh, really the, the essential, the quintessential summary of, of, of the march in terms of the action shots for that. Uh, we, you know, we heard about it from InfoWars. We yeah. heard about it from the internet. And I just want to say that you can't trust the mainstream media to give you the full picture. You can't trust the mainstream media to give you the information that you need. So don't go begging to them. Don't go crying to those dinosaurs of the old corporate media. Start tuning in somewhere else. You know, and no one can be trusted to give you a complete worldview, but I very much appreciate Alex Jones for bringing me on InfoWars last week, for everybody with InfoWars Nightly News for helping promote this event, for bringing me on tonight. Because you're showing that you're the ones that care about the people, that you're the ones that care about delivering an honest message. And I, I think your listeners and your viewers are smart enough to know that they can't trust any single source, even, even yours. And I encourage everybody to consume news with a critical mind, to get their news from a variety of sources. You know, and, and I'm not with Adam versus the man presenting an entire worldview as, as Alex Jones is, but you can do that. You can look at Infowars.com. You can listen to the Alex Jones radio show. You can get a sense of at least from Alex Jones, this is the essential information that I need to know about what is going on in the world today. I hope to be expanding my operation personally into that and adding a radio show or a podcast. Um, and if I can just get one more plug in, Adam versus the man.com is where the uh, conversation about that is happening at our forums. But like I said, I'm mm -hmm. grateful for Alex Jones. I'm grateful for everybody in InfoWars for really doing the job of the people's media when the mainstream media, when they, with the establishment corporate media isn't doing its job. But, uh, you know, I, I almost hesitate to say Alex Jones versus the mainstream, because now your operation there is turning into something that is so powerful and so massive that right. you're rising in the mainstream and the mainstream is turning to the internet. And that's where the future of independent media is. That's where the future of information. And I appreciate the plug and everything, Adam, for InfoWars. I want to bring this up because I was at the event with Alex over the weekend. He spoke in Dallas to a packed house. And a lot of those people were military because they came forward in the question and answer sessions. And uh, Alex mentioned in the speech, too, who has ever seen a pro Mitt Romney sticker, a pro Gingrich sticker, a pro Santorum sticker? They're a rare find, if anywhere out there. And uh, the people in the military came forward to say the same thing, that they're talking to people at the base. Most of those who support any candidate are behind Ron Paul. And in particular, many of them are outraged and very upset about the NDAA and more than ever awoken to the issue of not complying with the illegal orders, not going along with this slide into total despotism and tyranny. I think the military is waking up and uh, that's probably going to be the biggest factor in reclaiming our republic if they don't go along with this, that Oath Keepers mission. Absolutely. I'm, I'm very proud to be a member of Oath Keepers. I think their mission is absolutely essential. And for those that don't know, Oath Keepers is encouraging people on active duty, uh, both within the military and in the law enforcement community, to honor their oath to the Constitution before any illegal orders they may receive. But I just, it, it's always so heartwarming when, when you get so many veterans together and active duty guys who, who are passionate about this cause, because it's a real community of, of people who have woken up to the message of liberty, who have woken up to the reality of our foreign policy. And it's a lot of guys who are hurting too. It's a lot of guys dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder, a lot of pain and regret, a lot of issues to deal with their own military service. And so to, to see that coming together last night was, was really beautiful, uh, it was, especially the after party. And I just want to thank everybody who made that possible, Ian Chiaffi, Gigi Bowman, and all the artists, Amy Allen, Jordan Page, uh, Golden State, Rebel Inc. for coming out. Really, they just played their hearts out for us last night. Obviously, I lost my voice mostly singing along, but I, I, I want to share – one one exchange that I had with uh, a young active duty Marine, Lance Corporal, who is in the intelligence community. I, I won't really say anything more to reveal his identity, but he's in a unit with about 520 Marines, and he has access to SIPRNET, S-I-P-R, the uh, internet, the government's secret internet for, for military and government purposes. And he said that that was what turned him to Ron Paul, the things that he was seeing going out over the internet uh, the secret internet, that is, reports from commanders in the field, 
um, talking about incidents that were going to get covered up, things that they knew they couldn't release to the public. And what he told me, and this is really, really just, uh, you know, heartwarming for me in a personal sense, I guess. He said that of the 520 Marines in his unit, every single one of them knew me by name as a result of this event. And most of them were Ron Paul supporters. It's great, Adam, uh, what you put together this, with this event. We're glad it's going to move forward with other events. I hope it becomes like a We Are Change and Oath Capers thing where it's decentralized and people everywhere are talking about this issue. I think it's time to hear from individual military members. We've heard uh, from the sellout scumbag people at the top military brass level uh, who just go along with these hijack foreign policy agendas. I think it's time we hear from the real troops who've been on the ground, seen all the hypocrisies and abuses. And I think that conversation, even if people don't totally agree with where we come from at InfoWars or where you come from at Adam versus the man, uh, I think that conversation uh, will lead to the real answers. Absolutely. But let me just say one final plug here, because this is this is really important. It's not just the ongoing thing. We have a certain sense of urgency right now with Ron Paul running for president, the opportunity that that represents, like one that we have never seen before in human history, to make the most powerful man on the planet the one who would exercise the least amount of power over you. And we are marching on the RNC, the Republican National Convention, in Florida, August 27th to August 30th, as Veterans for Ron Paul. So to all the veterans and active duty members uh, in the audience listening right now, watching this, please mark your calendars. Prepare to be in Tampa Bay in Florida, August 27th to the 30th. At some point in there, Veterans for Ron Paul 2012 will be a presence. We will be marching on the convention. We will be making it clear to the Republican Party that Ron Paul is the choice of the troops. And if they want to nominate someone else, and slap us all in the face, they're gonna to have to do it right in front of us, right in front of the national media, in front of the entire world, and reveal that the, neo the neocons, the establishment, the party hacks don't support the troops. <laughs> it's gonna make such a mockery of all their demonization of Ron Paul and his foreign policy. Uh, thanks for joining us, Adam. Adam versus the man, and what, March to Washington? Is that still a viable website? No, we, you know what, we have a Facebook page, Veterans for Ron Paul 2012. I've got my yeah. page and of course adam versus the man.com i apologize we haven't had the first official planning meeting for this we just decided last night that well i just decided that i was going to be doing it and going to invite people to join me so we're going to be figuring out the framework for this and putting out the call we're going to need people to help spread the message every way we can and to get their butts down to florida well we'll talk to you in the future adam thanks for joining us thank you and we're going to take another break but we'll be back with more stay tuned on the infowars nightly news Greetings, fellow Info Warriors. Alex Jones here announcing the first of many trips that I'm going to take across this wonderful United States that we live in. And we get so busy here at InfoWars.com, the nightly news, the daily radio show, the documentary films, and all the other things we're doing that I tend to never go out and give speeches anymore. And I've got a lot of ideas bubbling around in my head about the history of the New World Order, what makes them tick, and how to defeat them. So I'm titling this key speech I'm going to give. It'll run around two hours long, Blueprint to Defeat the New World Order. And we're also going to have a surprise premiere of a short documentary film we've been working on at the event. First off, I'm going to be going to Dallas, Texas, Sunday, February 19th, 2012, to the historic Lakewood Theater. And the next Sunday, February 26th, I'm going to be in Orlando, Florida. You can find out more about the events and buy tickets at Infowars.com forward slash events. Now, unfortunately, every event I've ever had, we've had to turn people away. So get your tickets early at InfoWars.com forward slash events. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in this world. And the craziest of all is this explosive awakening. I can't wait to meet you and shake your hand. I'll see you in Dallas and I'll see you in Orlando. InfoWars.com forward slash events.